How are we doing, ladies? Good? OK. Yeah. OK, but, OK, stop. Back up. T t t wait. It's the shorts are all different. And you can, it's blatantly obvious that they're all different. Abby, that's all we have. I think we have to make it work. Put the black leotard on and then put the crop top over the leotard. At this point, Abby is picking apart the costumes because she is so mad that we took matters into our own hands. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What if we put that burgundy skirt on underneath the suspenders but over the shorts? Look in here and see if they're shorts. Yeah, take the leotard off, put the new shorts on. I don't care how they fit, just put them on. Honestly, the costumes are what, five points of the dance? I mean, why don't we focus on the dance itself rather than the costume? I pride myself on making my dancers look good on stage. Well, you know what, Abby? This could have been done days ago. There's no need for this. OK, well, if you don't feel your child can dance and handle all this pressure, it's OK. No. We can reblock it. No, that's not my point. My point is, you were not here to do your job this week. We all know it. I'm just voicing it. And I think the girls want to dance, and now they're getting sidetracked because you're focused on this costumes instead of the dance. Whoa! You are making this whole costume thing my fault. It is your fault. You didn't bring costumes. You didn't show up to do your job. You brought costumes that have booty shorts that you can see every line in. They had black on. They looked great. You're messing them up and flustering them. No one else is. You are, because you don't do your job. Stupid. You don't even know what you have. I guess and the other issue is to level the playing field, would you be willing to pull one of Maddie's solos? Well, I don't know about that. I have to talk to Abby about that. Christy asked me to pull one of Maddie's solos. I thought it was very inappropriate. Maddie gets two solos because she has a tap private, so she has a tap solo every year. And then Abby just gives her an extra solo. I don't see why it wouldn't be fair for my daughter to do two solos. I don't think I would do that, because I don't think you guys would do that. I did do it. I did it this year. Yes, I did. I did it at DEA. I could have had Chloe compete, and I didn't. because Because Paige and Nia deserved a chance to shine. I have to think about that. I have to talk to my daughter about that. What would be your reasons for not doing it? Because I'm not going to hurt my daughter. Maddie, by far, is one of the strongest dancers. There's no question about that. There's no need for her to have two solos to prove that she's a really strong dancer. We know that. If you looked at it from our perspective, you would be upset if Chloe were doing two solos and Maddie only had a chance to do one. I would not. If another mom had their child in two solos, I would never go to that mom and ask them to pull one of their daughter's solos. It's really none of my business what their daughter is doing. I have to worry about my children, not their children. I'm coming very cutthroat, and I don't think it needs to be that way. I don't want to discuss it. Okay. Maddie's on in three. Ken's, come on, we gotta go see your sister. I am so fed up with the BS. Melissa needs to pull Maddie's second solo. It's not fair. Melissa! Melissa! Yeah? I, I guess she's letting her dance. Yeah, she's doing a Oh, my God. And I called her, and she ignored me. No one has a chance in hell of winning against Maddie. She has two solos. She already has twice as good of a chance as anyone else. All right, now it's time to announce our overalls for our advanced mini soloists. I will announce the top 10 highest scoring advanced mini solo entries that we have seen today. Here are our top four. Fourth place overall mother, that's Chloe. Like to lose, but I don't ever lose anyway. And our first place overall top scoring advanced mini solo is receiving a $75 check and the trophy is a cry. That's Maddie from Abbey Mini Dance Company. Congratulations, huge round of applause for our top scores. Let's give a big round of applause. Undefeated. Aren't you happy? Congratulations, you guys take that big wacky bow. Whatever. You know what? She is not going to ruin this day. Check and the trophy. Good. This is not fair. Chloe was learning a dance 12 hours ago in a studio, and you expect a nine-year-old to go on stage and, like, be flawless? Our kids were set up to fail. I'm done. I don't want to say anything else. Good job! Yay! Good job, baby. Good job. Oh, All right, let's go. 
Abby, I think we need to talk. No, you're not going to ruin this day. No, we no. need to talk, Abby, in the hallway now. Are you kidding? I'm a paying client, and you won't speak to me. No, nothing's worth that much money. I think the worst thing that Christy can do is talk about me when her daughter is present. I cannot get Chloe to trust me if her mother doesn't trust me herself. I'm so excited for you, because she got the we best We don't want to ruin the weighted victory. <laughs> I'm not ruining today. No, Abby, what, what, we need to go in the here? hallway. Don't be doing this why in front of my daughter, here? Chris. Abby, we can all go in the hallway, because I tried to talk to you, and I tried I'm to talk to you personally. Let's why go in the hallway. I'm not the going anywhere. Just one. My daughter's happy. Let's go in the hallway. Do you want to talk about all the things that need to be talked about? Not here, because not now. This is you the weekend. Because you won't talk about it, and you won't talk about it. I will never talk to you again. Abby, I'm not talking about it because my daughter cries, so shut it. Talk about what? this weekend because you did it. Get out of here now. Let's go. Bitch. Let's go. Even your kids feel bad, but it doesn't matter that my daughter no, feels bad. Your daughter is holding a national title and I will take it away in a minute. Go ahead and take it away, Abby. I will. I'll leave your studio. That's fine. Where are you going to go? I would say the fight between Abby and Chrissy was incredibly embarrassing. That could have been handled behind closed doors, definitely not in front of children. Even when there are issues, I try to limit the things that I'm saying in front of the kids because it makes them feel bad. It makes them feel self-conscious and awkward. No, come with me. Girls, they are staying with me. You are an uneducated mess. Quit drinking. I'm not going on a bus. The so proud. I'm telling you. Oh, give me a phone. No, she didn't even you do her. You are out of control. I'm the asshole for staying in your studio. There you go. Then I need to leave. You're done. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. How did I get stuck in this? You know what's interesting? Last week, Chloe went to the physical therapist and the doctor. Mm -hmm. So how come that was an issue? This week, somebody told her that she went to the movie. Chloe didn't show up for class last week. She's at the movies. Who rats out a 10-year-old? I didn't tell her. Typically, I never tell Abby things that the people do behind her back. But I was just so sick of all the moms saying that I don't follow the rules. So I let her know that Christy had no intention of bringing her child to class on Monday. So who told her? I told her that. If Melissa really had a problem with Chloe going to the movies, I don't know, I would think that she would come to me and ask me about it instead of going to tattle to the dance teacher. So why is it. it your business to tell her that she went to the movies? She wasn't allowed to dance, so what do you care where she is? I just told Abby because I was just pissed off because... Do you need to make sure that you get on Abby's good side? I'm not on Abby's good side. Yeah, you are, Melissa. She claims that she and Abby are no longer friends, but man, you're really working hard to get back on her good side, aren't you? Do we need to talk about all the other lies? We were told by you on the phone to Kelly that Maddie practiced with her music like that and she knew to keep dancing. The day after Maddie's music skipped, I talked to Melissa on the phone and she admitted to me that if Maddie's music skipped, she was instructed to keep on dancing. So make my daughter look bad again. No, we're telling you that you look bad. Okay. Because you have said that it's okay to lie and cheat as long as you win and you get your way. And you know what? That's not something that any of us want to teach our kids. My daughter did not practice to music like that. Melissa, I really have a hard time believing you. Well, someone here is lying. If Abby set that up, that would be pretty despicable. That's but cheating. how can you do that? It's I cheating. I don't know. I how have no idea, but cheated. that would be really I low. didn't do anything of the sort. I would never cheat. The moms accused Abby of causing my daughter's music to skip. That's like sabotage. Go back, let's try it one time. I need to speak to Abby about the situation, and I need to get to the bottom of it. You'd have to ask her. Oh, I, I will. I guarantee it. I'm not happy about this. I want to see that partner work. I want to see the together stuff. I want to see the timing. Yeah. Really, really important. The kids need to leave. I, I really need to talk. I I'm need so to. Abby, I don't care. I need to talk to you. Please, girls, go real quick. Very quickly, go. I walk into the studio, and Maddie and Chloe are practicing. Maddie is mad at me that I walk into the studio. 
and I really don't care. I need to get to the bottom of this. Melissa's in there talking to Abby. Oh, oh, oh. Can we tattle on us? What do you think we're, what do you think she's saying? Maybe she's not talking about it. Oh, sure. God. After we and just she's gonna say, saying, don't they're talk. just jealous. Melissa once again storms off to go tattle on us to Abby. If she really felt strongly that she didn't do what Kelly was saying she did, then stay and defend yourself. Don't go run and tattle on us to Abby. These mothers are calling my daughter a cheater for last weekend. They said that she practiced her dance with that music. Did you cheat for my daughter? They're Absolutely not. You would never send a child intentionally on stage with a bad CD. That makes me look bad. I've been doing this for 32 years, women. Wake up. I have that would ruin all over my... my daughter's career. I would never Whoa, let my daughter do Wait a second. Your daughter's career? How about my name? I know. How about my reputation? I know it's your reputation, but, but my daughter's mine. Look labeling her. You just fell into the same pot with them. I'm sorry, because they're calling my daughter a cheater. I don't want my daughter to be labeled as a cheater. She's not. I don't want you to give her special treatment, or I'm pissed. It's I'm done. Melissa, we she's do once again. again jealous that your kid won. Don't you get it? No. Oh, okay, well, I'm I'm not happy. Toughen up, Melissa. I was mad. I was mad at Abby, but I wanted to make sure that she wouldn't do this. And she said, I would never do that. Ever, ever, ever. And I believe her. What were you talking to Abby about? I asked her if she did something to the CD. She's pissed that I even thought that she would do that. So, Melissa, here's your chance. Did that conversation between you and Kelly really happen? Did you really tell Kelly that, that no. Maddie knew the CD was going to skip? I did not. She practiced to a CD, but not okay. to that. But she practiced she on her iPad. But she instructed to keep dancing if something uh, happens so with music. So are your two kids. Everybody's instructed. Everybody's kids are instructed. It's not... Something happens to your music, honey. My kids kid hasn't read about that I in the past this... year. I, I know... think... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I swear on, on, on my children's life I swear on my mother's grave that I did not say that. Go back and watch that clip, because Maddie never even hesitated. Of course she did it because Never. she's professional. She Six thoughts and you're on stage. I you're was kidding. Answer. Hey, knock it off. Oh, you're but, messing with my professional reputation. But if your daughter's Calling music would have stopped, she would have kept dancing. You know that. Cuckoo. Yeah. In my experience, in the decade that I've known both of these women, Kelly has never lied to me. I can't say the same for Melissa. And drum roll, please, for your top scoring junior Oscar small group. Your first place winner is in the genre of contemporary and from Abby Lee Dance Company, act number 70, I see the kite flying. When it was all said and done, the group routine, and we all know the group comes first, was the overall high scoring winners in the entire competition. The Abby Lee Dance Company is going to leave California victorious. And who choreographed this routine? Miss Abby Lee. Let's give a big round of applause for our top three junior Oscar small groups. Congratulations, Chloe, for making the top five. Congratulations, Mia, for making the top ten. Thank you. Kaya, you and your mom are being pretty quiet. You know, a lot to say on the microphone. What do you mean? This goes to the rest of you. You're going to let the new girl walk in and get the microphone and get to speak? Don't let the new kid come in and push you out of the way. You did the same thing with Paige today. And you're threatening to replace her with somebody else. Why do y'all keep saying replace? We, we're not coming to replace nobody. She just wants to be part to of the team. But Thank when you. you refer to me or my child, it puts me in the conversation. What did you say, Abby? I'm sorry. Somebody was me. talking. Kaya was talking. I don't want to even use your name. That's why I keep saying her. I got a name I want to call you, too, and not your own. But I'm trying to be respectful. You just jump down on me like I'm trying to invade this team and do something. And it's no different from what all of you are doing. As a sister, I would think you would respect that, because it ain't a lot of chances for black women out here now. I would think that you would have my back. Do not, do not, do not take my ethnicity and make me a poster child for whatever. I choose to speak with I, Holly Hatcher Frazier, Dr. Holly, so everyone in this room has something to say. I don't know. I don't know how you work with these parents. You called every one of us liars? Haters? The haters. Haters. Yeah, you are some, you some haters. That's a name. I call it like I see it. It's the truth. Y'all are liars. You're some liars, especially you. Oh, yeah, OK. You are phony as hell. So are you. I'm not You don't. You know what? what I see, I'm you, not you're phony fake. at all. Who I am is exactly who I come across as. Uh, yeah, a bitch. That's what you are, and I know you own it. You don't know a thing, bitch. Nah, be that bitch. Don't let the I door hit it. your 
the way out then. You want to watch your mouth, because I ain't the rest of these dance mamas. I'm not a doctor like Holly Boo. I'm from the hood. Believe that. Yeah, Abby, are you going to let this happen? Bitter. I can't. I don't you just follow language. You're right, we're bitter. I don't know how you work with these parents. I'm a little bit more nervous for this competition than I have been the other ones, because this isn't only Kalani's hometown. This is Bryn's, and she has something to prove here by beating Kalani. She has to prove that she is good enough to be on this team permanently, whether Maddie is here or not. Where is, where's Kalani? She has a solo. That stresses me out. Well, you know, our new baby. <laughs> well, monkey wrench into anything. But she always gets special treatment. Here you guys know care. it. It's obvious. <laughs> she still doesn't care. She doesn't care. care. <laughs> she well, still she doesn't, doesn't care. care. Have you heard from her? Did she say, sorry, I'm running late? Did she send anyone No, she didn't text me, and Kalani didn't text me either. That's a little Which... weird. I don't, I have no say. I don't know. I don't care if she walks in five minutes before she's on. Kalani is 15. She pulls your age up every time she dances in the group. When Kara's around, she can't get her on time. She's not even in California with her kid. Ashley must be really nervous for today because she's telling everybody all the reasons why Kira and Kalani should leave and her and Bryn should stay. As much as I like Kalani, Kira does not care about this. She's just sitting on her ass at home. And we're all working our asses off and she's getting the benefits of it. You're working your asses off? Uh, yeah, it's not easy, okay, and you know it. <laughs> well, we were just saying that we were all on time and you're a little late. I didn't realize that um, having to pump milk for the day and get the baby all settled and no, I know. <laughs> we know, but listen, was the no one said thing. that the hardest job it's in the world is years. being a mother. <laughs> and we all are, and we've all done it. It's been eight years, so you, you forget. She's never cared. That's the reality. Guess what? I've I've said a thousand times about me being here, and they all know it. <laughs> so then why are you here? Then we, we all know. Because Kalani here. wants to be here. Bryn wants to be here, and I have to be here, and I show up and I work hard. She gets all the benefits, and she gets to sit home. You're a manipulator, you're a user, you're a liar, and you know it. Everybody knows it. I, I don't really care what you think of me. I really don't. I don't care what you think. Some with three baby daddies and a criminal record, I could care less what you think about me. Just keep coming with them, Ashley. This is I what I mean. All day long. How this long do you want to say? This is what here? I'm talking How about. Long do you want to say You're here? a real pathetical person. Pathetical isn't a word. I thought you had a master's degree. Did you not know that pathetical isn't a word, but you have a master's degree? You can sit here and say all you want, Ashley. Sit there with your liposuction and your plastic surgery and your tummy tuck. Oh my gosh! Just go home. You don't want to be here. Just go home. Nobody wants you here. Go. I'm not here to play your games. I know you start cussing when you really don't Do know what to say. you want to let her sit here and play her games? I'm not playing games. Fine. No, Kira, don't no, go. I'm Please fine. don't go. Please don't go. If you want to sit here and let her play her games, then you can. You all. She's a bitch, well, and I'm not maybe. gonna stay here and allow her to play her game. So go yourself. This is why she's a pathetic piece of This is not the time for Ashley to bring up old issues with Kira. We already have a checked out Abby. We do not need these moms fighting. We're supposed to be a well-oiled machine, and it's not gonna work if these two moms don't lay off of each other. Oh, I know it's up. okay. I'm fine. Please don't let no, me push you No, but I'm not doing You've this. I'm not pressure. doing this. I'm not doing this. Yeah, but I'm not playing the game. I know. This is not why game. I'm here. I'm going home. What happened? You know how she is. She's Ashley. being fake. She's being desperate. I'm not playing the games. You're way better than so, she'll ever be. So yeah, but exactly, and, and I'm not playing the games. It just sucks that somebody else comes in and they're not even on the team and you're the one who's leaving. This is an amazing story. I know it is. She's, she's, the, the, she's the, the Arizona today. star. So freaking amazing. I'll watch her, but I'm not dealing with her. Like, I'm not. 